Hello, and welcome to our investment strategy series. We see steady global growth going into year-end, driven by a strong US economy. Rising employment is supporting domestic demand across regions, and trade volumes remain solid. But late cycle conditions are now upon us, and two major risks are clouding the landscape. First, rising interest rates in the US. With a robust momentum, tight labor market, and inflation at target, the Fed should stick to its uh, rate tightening policy, with one additional increase in 2018 and three more in 2019. Rising funding costs make emerging countries with large currency mismatches, but also highly leveraged US companies most at risk. The second cause for concern is the trade dispute between the US and China. A near-term resolution is unlikely, things will probably get worse before they eventually get better. And the midterm elections' most likely outcome, a divided Congress, will not reverse President Trump's stance on China. Still, the US and China should avoid a full-blown trade war because of the colossal economic cost to all sides. Meanwhile, intensifying tensions will continue to affect growth and business confidence. Looking at emerging markets, selectivity is crucial. Falling currencies and trade tensions have led several central banks to raise rates. This, combined with rising dollar funding costs, will continue to test the countries with the weakest fundamentals. Other major economies should hold up better. Cyclical conditions in Japan look sustainable. In Europe, a pickup in growth and inflation is even likely. However, more volatility is expected with the contentious budget talks in Italy, which are raising tension with the EU and the risk of a debt rating downgrade. Overall, there is little reason to expect a major downturn in the short term, even though global growth will slow from last year's level owing to tighter monetary policy in the US and escalating trade tensions between the two economic powerhouses. Now, let's hear from Stefan what this means for our portfolio positioning. The momentum can continue for some time, as Samis just explained, but the late cycle dynamics pose specific challenges for investors. First, asset quality and liquidity are crucial for portfolio resilience. And second, risk assets are now more sensitive to macroeconomic factors, such as monetary policies and normalizing inflation, and also to political uncertainties. Brazilian elections, US midterms, further talks on the Italian budget, and the trade tensions between the US and China. It's therefore time to be very selective in our risk exposure and strike the right balance between sound fundamentals and growing risks. Consequently, we have shifted portfolio out of the least liquid assets, such as emerging debt in local and hard currencies, high yield and convertible bonds, thereby reducing the overall risk. In terms of asset class preferences, we still like equities. Equities have historically outperformed during the overheating phase of the cycle, and the global picture remains supportive for corporate earnings. We maintain a cyclical bias with another weight in Japanese equities, where there is room for more performance in sync with global growth. We keep a neutral stance on US, European, and emerging equities. Our positioning in fixed income remains defensive, as the Fed's monetary tightening, the end of the asset purchases by the ECB and its future monetary tightening weigh on yields across segments. We see, however, pockets of opportunities in short-term bonds for dollar-denominated portfolios. In currencies, we have added a yen hedging strategy implemented against the euro. In episodes of market stress that investors could experience in an advanced cycle, flows gravitate towards the strengthening yen and Swiss franc. Our cash allocation is now higher, at around 10% for a balanced portfolio, and can be deployed for tactical opportunities. The end of an expansionary cycle can offer years of robust returns, but it also stresses the need for reinforced active management of portfolio risks. With this in mind, we will remain nimble in our asset allocation, rigorously monitor developments, and keep you regularly up to date. Thank you very much for watching.